Hi everyone, this is Crafty Decoria and I hope you're all doing great. So today I am making a project for my home and it is a fall project but it probably will be the last fall project that I will be sharing because the items at the Dollar Tree for fall DIYs are getting harder to find as the winter and Christmas items are rolling in. So. I really wanted to share this because it was one that I was excited to do not only because I'm using Dollar Tree items but a lot of times I love to use things that I can reuse so here in front of me these are probably my number one favorite thing to find or um, to reuse they are the wooden crates that you buy your oranges your clementines your mandarins in and I always keep them and if there's any family members or friends that have them that usually throw them out I always ask for them because I have used them for so many things but my favorite thing is to use them for crafting in DIYs so I have four in front of me the best is if you can get them the same size because you do get them in different sizes and what I've done is I have two the two on the bottom I flip them upside down and the two on the top are right side up so using my hot glue and my e6000 I'm going to apply some glue and then glue the two on top and I'm going to put a little bit of weight on the inside and let that dry wooden crates are glued one on top of the other but now I need to glue them on their ends so that this makes one long crate so I'm just going to take these two turn it on its end and then I will add my e6000 glue and hot glue to this end and then place my other one on top now when I am gluing this in place it's more important that the bottom is lined up than the top because once this is sitting flat you want it to lay fairly even so that it doesn't topple your piece doesn't topple my base is complete I have what looks like one large crate I'm going to take my hot glue and a section at a time I'm going to apply the glue and then take my excelsior and add it a little bit at a time until the whole crate is completely covered in the excelsior one side and I have about half of my Excelsior left over of one package now really if there is no paper on your crate you can get away with very very little because the crate is the exact same color as the Excelsior but if you do want it to look a little bit more plump you could definitely add more than less now another little thing I did once I have the Excelsior on I just take my hot glue and from a good distance above I hold my hot glue and then I just release the glue and then I drag it across very quickly and this way it just allows a little bit of the hot glue to go on top of that excelsior and it's just going to keep the excelsior in place and you really don't see it i mean if you look at it from an angle the most it's going to look like is some webs on your hay but it really does help keep the excelsior in place so that's just a little tip if you want to do that but if you glue it down really well then you wouldn't really need to do that extra little step on top So 
my crates are completely covered in the Excelsior and I love how it looks like one big bale of hay. So next I am going to take my dowels and these are the wood craft dowels by Crafty Kids. You get four pieces in this package. The size is 12 inches by 0.4 inches and these are as well from the Dollar Tree. So I will be using all four. Two of them I will glue in the corners, the front corners. So here you can see in every corner there is an opening. So I'm just going to stick my dowel in there and then glue it up against this wooden uh, piece of wood here in the corner just so that it's nicely supported. I'm going to do the same over in this corner here and then the other two dowels I am going to place in the center of the crates. Again I'm going to place them in those openings, glue them down and then have them supported up against the wood and these two dowels will be the dowels that will hold my Dollar Tree decor sign. So now my dowels are glued in and I have to glue on my Dollar Tree decor sign. So what I did was I kind of just roughly figured where I wanted uh, the dowels to sit on the back of the sign. I just lightly marked it out with a pencil and now I'm just going to add my glue to this area and then place it up against the dowels, hold that in place until it dries and then all I have left to do is just add my LED lights. I'm going to attach my copper wire LED lights. These are from the Dollar Tree and this set has 12 lights on it. It's 4.3 feet long. I was going to use two but actually one I think is going to work really well. And all I'm going to do, I left the jute twine on the sign. It's just hanging in behind but I just left it. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to start from this corner here on the dowel and I'm going to wrap it up the dowel go up to this first knot wrap it around there go across wrap it around the second knot and then bring it back down to this second dowel here and my battery pack will rest in there Okay guys, so this is what the DIY looks like complete. Now it is not dressed up because I figured if you decide to make this, you can use your creativity and dress it up in whatever way you would like to. Um, there's many ways that you can dress this up. You can add a ton of candles to the inside of this. It would look beautiful. Or, of course, being that there is a pumpkin on there, you could fill this with pumpkins. Now, with the Excelsior, up to this point, I've used about two and a half bags. So I am going to be using a little bit more to fill the inside of the crates because I'm actually going to be placing the Dollar Tree glass candle holders inside of this and I will also be adding some chocolates to this. I wonder if you can guess which chocolates I will be adding but that is how I will be dressing this up and you know you could do that as well. I think that would be really nice. Another neat idea would be if you have the carvable pumpkins that the Dollar Tree carries and I would place probably four in here and each pumpkin I would carve 
a letter out to spell the word fall and this way I could also add a candle to the inside of that pumpkin and it would light up at night very nicely as well but again I just wanted to show you what it looked like with it empty and I absolutely love how this has turned out so let me go ahead and spruce this up a little bit more and show you how I will be using this piece for the fall season. Okay, so here is my completed look to this DIY and I could not be more pleased with how it all came together. So as you can see, I did add some more of the Excelsior to the inside of the crate but what I did was I placed some boxes, they were cracker boxes, in the inside of the crate to fill most of it up and this way I only had to lay the Excelsior on top. Now it looks like a complete bale of hay and I just love it. On top of that I used the Dollar Tree pumpkin candle holders and I filled it with none other than chocolate kisses and it just seems so fitting to go with this pumpkin kisses and harvest wishes decor sign from the Dollar Tree I added some of the pumpkin clips as well some of the glitter leaf clips and I think it is just beautiful. I love the addition of the lights. It reminds me of a country fair. It is the perfect decor piece for the fall season and I definitely will be enjoying this in my home this fall and God willing many more to come. This DIY was very inexpensive to do being that the base of this piece was completely free. Well guys, that'll do it for this DIY. I really hope that you enjoyed this. I'm so glad that I was able to share this one. I had thought of this a while back and I knew I wanted to make it. I just didn't know if I would get the time and thankfully I did. I really, really hope that you enjoyed this. As I said, you can dress this up in many different ways. It's a nice size piece. As you can see on my table here, it takes up quite a bit of space, but I just love it. And I hope you do too. If you enjoyed this DIY, please give it a thumbs up, share the video if you can, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. And as always guys, you take care of yourselves and I hope to catch you in my next video. Bye bye.